Hi everyone, Laura Serrano here from Feng Shui Manhattan. Today I want to talk to you about T-junctions. I'm going to give you a very specific case study, but nonetheless, hopefully it will help open your Feng Shui eyes to see T-junctions in a little bit of a different light or just become more familiar. So let's just jump in. What is a T-junction? A T-junction is fast moving energy that is funneled down the street so quickly it rushes into the home, potentially making the occupants feel uncomfortable while also allowing for an accumulation of negative energy to build up over time. The easiest way you can begin to recognize a T-junction, if you're unsure, you can do Google Maps and do a bird eye view or simply through driving. Essentially a T-junction anatomy is made up of two streets, one that's funneling straight down and the other one that's crossing over, in essence, making a T-junction. The image that we're looking at right now has two homes located at the base of this particular T-junction. However, the one home that seems to take on the brunt of the T-junction energy is this particular one that's circled in red. The good news is it's not completely in the center and most of the energy seems to be rushing into the driveway and the garage side of the home. So that's good, however, because this is a two-way street up here and this is a two-way street in this cross section of the T-junction, the energy is still moving fairly quickly into that home, thus potentially disrupting the occupant's energy, even more so if they didn't take the precautions and put up different remedies and cures. So now let's go to this slide because there are different degrees of T-junction that you want to pay, a mind, pay mind to. The first way you can begin to observe these different degrees is by paying attention to the traffic pattern. There are three ways in how you can approach this. The first one is if you see the traffic pattern is moving quickly, let's say every two to five minutes, that's going to be high levels of negative or SHA draining energy. If you see the traffic pattern moving every hour, it's a tad bit better but it's still within that Sha energy situation. The last is every five to 10 hours, which is much better. That means the energy is much slower, more controlled, and that's what we're looking for. This home, however, will definitely fall within the every two to five minutes. It's a very busy street, no matter which way you're driving. And just looking at this photo quickly, you can see the white car, even though it's gonna be turning left or right, the energy, the beams of the light from the car are still hitting into that home. So this is not ideal. However, if we begin to observe even closer with this photo, you're going to see this interesting display of a wall. And this wall essentially is becoming a shield. And whenever we're dealing with T-junctions, that is what we're looking to create, at least through the lens of feng shui on an energetic level and on a very tangible, practical level, how can we protect our home in both spectrums? And these particular occupants decided to create an extended wall, basically creating a physical barrier, but energetically doing the same thing. And in essence, this can also become a sound barrier so they don't have to hear all this rushing traffic and patterns going to and from. So let's break it down a little bit more. As we already stated, we know that these occupants decided to create an extended wall, which they did. They also have a strong door. So they're, basically their door, their home, has become a bit more hidden and tucked away. Typically in feng shui, it's recommended not to do that. However, this is a very unique situation. So in that case, we do recommend it. However, you still wanna make your home and the energy of the home easily found and how they did that was just create an extension of the home if you will but using a shield like intention saying we're gonna use this shield meaning the wall and adopt the same colors create a door so we still have that mouth of chi but this is more of a protection establish lights in feng shui whenever we have lights on the home or leading up to the doorway of the home this is called lighting up the pathway making sure that the address of the home is still clearly stated because technically it used to be over here but now we have to extend all the remedies that we would bring to the actual front door 
to the extended shield, if you will, I'm just using that as a base terminology, they also made sure that they indicated we still have a pathway, it's not just driveway. So even though they don't particularly use this door ever, they still indicate there's an energy flow coming from this door leading to the rest of the pathway, which is quite beautiful. And then we have the common sense fence. So they have metal fencing. So that's another barrier. And then we have the shrubs and the bushes, which can also act as a sound barrier, but energetic and physical barrier as well. So they have a lot of beautiful examples of how you can remedy in this particular case a T-junction. Other people might use crystals, they might use boulders, rocks, fences. Every case is going to be so unique and different. Uh, you have to understand what will be best for your particular property, your particular environment, and also your budget. Be very practical. Um, but I just want to share a quick tutorial on T-junctions to help give you some new insights, maybe possibly new ideas, new awarenesses, and know that even if your home is on a T-junction, there are different degrees and variables here. It's not the is all end all. There are always different ways to resolve that. And that's what Feng Shui teaches us, to see the world differently. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching. If you would like to share, please do. You can connect with us also on Facebook. And um, here's the website, fengshuimanhattan.com. Again, my name is Laura Serrano, and it was great having you. All right. Bye, everyone.